Whoa, check out that pink bombshell. Wish you had hair like that? Hmm, I wonder if my hair would look good in this color. What do you think? Oh! Jeez, Maya, you didn't have to give poor Amy a heart attack. If you liked that, you'll love these awesome girly hacks coming your way. Hey there, Vicky. Hey, Maya. Whoa, did you get a lip ring? Oh, this old thing? Well, getting it didn't hurt as much as you think. All you'll need is a trusty stapler, like this one here. Don't worry, she's not going to staple her lip. Use the end of a stapler or a stapler remover to snag a staple you find lying around. Now, find something round that you can press the metal on to smooth out its shape. Ah, there we go. Okay, Vicky, what do you want to pierce today? You know, I've always wondered what I look like with a nose ring. See? You can just stick the staple on top of your skin. No permanent holes required. Just gotta let my hair down and channel my inner bad girl. I love this thing. All right, girls, start posing. Oh, hey there, Nicki Minaj. I gotta tell ya, that bubblegum pink hair is doing wonders for your look, honey. Oh man, you totally had us fooled, Amy. Hey, Maya, take a look over at your girl there. Notice anything different about her? Oh, Amy, I know you want to rock pink hair, but you can't walk around with this big thing on your head all day. Don't worry, girl, I have a way better idea. Do you have a craft box full of party decorations like streamers? Snag some in pink just like these here. Okay, I got the party streamers. Okay, but this is going to give me pink hair? How? In a big bowl, pour in some warm water. And, um, well, after you're done playing sword fight, uh, girls, we kind of need those for this hack, cut the streamers into smaller rolls and pop them right into the bowl of water. See? The dye is forming already. Okay, it's time to color that hair. Take a strand of hair and slowly dip it into the mixture. Check it out, it worked! If you're sure you like the color, go ahead and dip all your hair in there for a more dramatic look. Holy cow, Amy, you look so beautiful! Who says you need to pay an arm and a leg at a fancy salon when you can look this fabulous right at home? Don't worry, Maya, we can do yours next. I'm thinking maybe blue or green. Another day, another boring outfit. Ugh. I don't have time to go shopping, so I guess this look will have to do. Hey, girl! Wow, you look fabulous! Where did you get that top? I'm going to lunch and all I have is this boring t-shirt. Do you think you could help me style this outfit? Please? All right, I'll help you out. Start cutting from the bottom up on the front of the tee. Oop. Not too far. Now, cut up the sides along the seam to the armpits. Next, flip up the flaps onto the shoulders. And cut horizontally under the folds of the back of the shirt. Cut the piece you just removed in half vertically. If you have glue handy, go ahead and put it along the bottom edges of the two cut pieces. Now, press the edge evenly onto the flipped up fabric pieces. Easy so far, right? After the glue is dried, grab the scissors again and cut it into a V-shape like so. Cut slowly to make sure it's even. And onto the other side we go. You did it! Now put your new tee on and tie it in the back. Um, if this isn't stylish, I don't know what is. And you didn't even have to step foot at the mall. This is a win for sure. Admit it, you couldn't have done it without me. Yes, girl. Thanks. Oh, wow. Look at that natural beauty. Ugh, her too. What do these girls all have in common? Gorgeous freckles! Okay, let's see here. Do I have any hidden freckles in there? Nope, not a one. Wait a second. I think I may have a solution. Yep. Maybe I can do something with this henna I have left over from that birthday party I went to last week. Start by placing little dots on your cheeks. Keep going and add as many as your heart desires. 
And don't worry if they're not all the perfect shape. Real freckles aren't all the same either. Clearly, Amy wants to have a lot of freckles this time. All right, that ought to do it. And boom! A freckly goddess has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Those look pretty real, don't they? Love to shop? Then you probably already know the joys of online shopping. Look how cute this bathing suit is! Okay, I'll just put in my card and… Whoa, that's a lot of dough. That's almost as much as my rent. No way am I forking that up. It wasn't that cute. Okay, here's another one that'll be more my price range. Nope, can't do it. <sighs> Enough's enough. Take a long sleeve shirt like this one and remove your arms from both of the sleeves. Now turn the shirt around so that the back is in the front. Go ahead and pop those arms out of the top, see? Once you flatten it out and get situated, grab the bottom of the shirt and pull it all the way up and over your head. Next, tie the hanging sleeves into a knot just under your chest. Twist them around and tie it in the back. Oh, hey there, new bathing suit! Um, is it just me or is Maya giving off some serious Marilyn Monroe vibes? Getting outfits ready for a day at the office can be kinda tricky. You don't want to be too casual, and yet you don't want to get too dressed up, either. Ooh, nope. That definitely won't work. Hmm, how about this one? Let's button this up and… Oh no! It looks like I've outgrown this shirt! It won't button up. Work is in one hour. Now what am I gonna do? Wait a minute, I think I have another shirt I can use. Nope. Foiled again. I think I remember a great DIY fashion hack that will be perfect in a clothing crisis like this. Keep one shirt on one side and put another one on your other side with your arms through both sleeves. Now line up the buttons and button it up as you would just one shirt. Once that's done, take both shirts off and put it on again, but backwards. You know, like you would a jacket or sweater. It'll feel big at first, but we'll fix that right up. Now button up on this side and take the remaining sleeves and tie them like this. Not only is this look great for the office, but it's incredibly unique. Great thinking, Maya. Hmm, I wonder where Amy is. I'm dying to tell her all about my date last night. Oh, there she is. Okay, so go ahead and tell me everything, Helly. Ooh, getting a little chilly there, Amy? I bet you're seriously regretting your decision to skip the jacket today, huh? Oh, hey, I have a scarf you can borrow. Here you go. Ooh, thank you so much. Ugh, that's better. Um, Amy? Yeah? No offense, but you look totally crazy like that. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just be cold then. If you're caught without a jacket, take a scarf or shawl like this one and wrap it around your waist. Where the edges meet in the middle at your front, tie a knot. Snag a hair tie to hold it in place. Now grab the lower corners and tie it into another knot so it can hang lower over your front under the first one. Go ahead and turn the whole thing around. Now that there are holes in the sides, you can actually put your arms through them. Would you look at that? You just made yourself a stylish little cover-up there. Oh man, my jacket isn't as cute as hers. Shoot. Did you have as much fun learning about these fabulous DIY clothing hacks as we did? Here are some bloopers for your viewing pleasure. Make sure to share this video with your friends to let them in on these awesome hacks. And don't forget to subscribe to 123Go's channel to keep getting awesome videos like this one.